All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning back in to uh, Negro News. Um, just wanted to touch bases on a few few topics, man. And this picture that's behind me of Coach Prime Man up in the hospital is pretty much the topic of uh, this discussion uh, here today. Um, and and, and it's, it's real pivotal that I pinpoint this because a lot of people are just missing really what this man has endured. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think he's, 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 uh, gone through 12 surgeries. He's an amputee. I think he's, uh, had three toes removed. Um, you can see he's in obvious pain. Every game, every practice, everything they do on social media, he, he has a visible limp. People are taking shots at his character and this man has done nothing but the unthinkable with this entire program at Colorado. He's catching a lot of backlash, and we all know why he's catching the backlash. It's not anybody stupid, right? It's because that permanent suntan, yeah. That permanent suntan is has a lot of backlash with it, right? But he's 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 taking it like a like a man. I mean, he, like he's giving us the blueprint. Us as as, as, as black men, he's giving us the blueprint how to conduct yourselves in spite of. Um, and, you know, I, I, I'm i glad that, he, that he's here because he's showing me that there's a different way that you can operate, you know, and move and still be successful at a high level. You don't always have to use aggression. Um, he's very articulate. He thinks before he talks, he's real strategic. I, I'm, I'm going to tell you like this. So many people just waiting for him to lose. I mean, he's going to lose. It's natural. I mean, it's, it's it's the inevitable. Everybody loses, right? But the game is just the game. If he loses a game, he still wins because he's winning, all, he's winning already. He's won over the hearts. He, he's won over the, the everyone. I mean, America, he is like the new uh, – you know, I don't even know what to even categorize him. To be honest with you, like they say, Dallas is America's team. He's America's coach. Um, he's brought a lot of people together. Boulder, Colorado probably has like less than a 5% African-American population. Let's just be frank about it. So for this black man to go somewhere predominantly white, and have them just elated speaks volumes. It's crazy. Never seen nothing like it in my life. Um, I think what people fail to realize is what we're witnessing. We're witnessing um, something similar to a civil rights movement, if you if you will. Um, and what I mean by that is that they'll give a black man a coaching job, but they'll give him a one and ten or one eleven losing uh, a, a team. They give him a job with a, with a team with a record like that. You see, he got a, a, a job with a team with one and eleven, but for him to turn it around, I mean, just like instantaneous, they never thought he was going to be able to do that. I believe uh, Rick George did the AD of uh, Colorado. He had the utmost faith in him. I mean, but when you rock bottom, you can't go down no further. So I mean, shoot, I mean. Hey, that was that was a no-brainer hiring coach. But um he's showing and he's opening up doors, man. He's opening up doors, man. Hopefully in, in the near future there'll be more African American head coaches in, in, in Power Five football that'll get an opportunity. And even though they might inherit a bad team, that they won't lose their job in the first two, three years. Look at Charlie Strong. They hired Charlie Strong at Texas. That brother coached for one season. He was out of there. What did that man do that was so heinous to get fired after after his first year? The guy who he took the job from or took over for, he had a losing record. How long was he there? Exactly. So you can't sit there and make it seem like, oh, you know, there's not a double standard. There is a double standard. But to see Dion win, has all of us feeling like we could win. 
So I don't want you guys to overlook, man. This man's battle, man, with, with his blood clots, man. This man right here is in noticeable pain. And, Coach, if I offend you by posting this pic, I, I apologize. But I just want them to see, man, just, just, just a flash of what you've gone through. This is nothing compared to what you've gone through. And you've done it with grace and class. Yeah. This man limps on the field. <laughs> Come on, man. He's he's a soldier. Why wouldn't you want to play for a guy like that? Why wouldn't you want to listen to a guy like that? He's he's leading by example. He's going to war with his team. Every time he stands up, I can imagine the agony he's in. And he he and he does it consistently, day in and day out. And he doesn't complain. He doesn't cry about it. I think that's a prime example of uh that's old school, man. Today's generation, man, they, they don't get it, man. Hard work and perseverance. He is the epitome of that. So I want you guys to make sure you follow me, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please subscribe. I got some more stuff on the way. Um, but prayers to Deion Sanders, man, for just being a, a blessing to everybody, man. You know, um, I, this is my third vlog. And he's the subject matter. He's the hottest thing going right now, him in Colorado, the story. But I'm not just trying to ride coattails and just come up off of another man's success, although so many have and are. And if I get blessed, so what? You know what I'm saying? That just shows the power that this man has that we all could come up. You know what I'm saying? And he's doing it for us. So I ain't tripping. Um, Leave a comment, man. You leave a comment. You know what I'm saying? I'll try to comment back to everybody. Um, and uh, make sure you share it for me, man. And hit the notification bell so when I post again, you'll see some more stuff, though. Um, but, uh, yeah, man. Prayers go to the, uh, Coach Prime. And I, and, and like my headline says, uh, he's, he's not appreciated. He's not appreciated enough. Not in my book. They don't talk about that. They don't talk about what this man is going through. They don't, they don't, they don't talk about the obvious pain that he's in. They just want to cause him psychological and emotional pain. Man, already's in pain. This man is this man is mentally tough. You can't break him. So you know the old saying goes, you can't beat him, join him.